Thanks for again. Talk loud up. Michelle? Alright, bro. Oh, so, the problem with these teaching, the soldiers was teaching you that you were an Islamite. Have you ever heard that before? You heard that before? Where'd you hear that? You were young. So, you heard it, but you didn't apply it, right? Because when we, when we know that we're Israel and that we're God's chosen people, there's a certain thing that's required of us, right? And those things that we're supposed to do, we're supposed to teach to our children so that God's law, statutes, and commandments will carry on. What you got? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of, of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So we were, we was taught to keep this law statutes and commandments. So you said you was taught that you was Israel a long time ago when you were younger, right? So did they teach you to keep the law statutes and commandments? They didn't, right? Alright, give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Because that's what we come out here to do. Because when we come back to God's law statutes and commandments, that's when uh, he will come down and he will fight for us. Right. Like during the time of Egypt, he fought for us. He, he delivered us out of the land of Egypt. So when we come back to his laws, that's when he's going to come back and he's going to deliver us out of this Egypt. And that's, what we, that's why we out here. We yeah. bring our people up and bring them back to his laws and statutes and commandments. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that he remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Right, so are you familiar with the Bible? You familiar with the teachings of Paul, right? I agree. But I, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So God has a order that we have that we are to follow, right? I right, keep reading. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. All right, so when we read in the beginning, who is the head of the man? Read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So Christ is our head, right? Christ is our head. Christ is our example. Christ is our savior. Now jump back down to where you was at. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. So us reading out of this Bible, what do you think we're doing? We prophesy. Read that part again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Now remember when we was just in Deuteronomy, it was telling us to keep all these commandments. So when the Bible's being read or when you're praying, the man is not supposed to have his head covered. Right. And that's a simple commandment that a lot of our people don't know. That's, that's why right. none of us have head hats on right now. Because right. we're doing, we're prophesying out of the Bible. Because this is full of prophecies, right? Right. You agree? So, with that being said, us not having our covers head, and you say you believe in the Bible, you're going to take the head off for us, brother? All praise to the most high. That's, See, that's, right. that, that's a simple commandment that we don't know, because the Christian church don't teach us these things. Right. There's other commandments, too, that we have to do in order to uh, fulfill all the prophecies in this Bible, us returning back to our God. Right. Because you know he's our God, right? And only our God, right? Did you know that? He's our God. Nobody else. So you believe that? Okay then, so don't go nowhere. We're gonna teach you some more uh, curses. Hey, show sure Christ. You, you gotta do what? You gotta go? Alright. Alright, you too, brother. Alright, cuz we are here to teach our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who they are according to the Bible, right? Give me Nehemiah 10 and 31. Yeah. And all these stores that's open on the Lord's Day. A lot of our people are going to and fro to these stores. And not knowing that they're breaking God's laws. Not knowing that they're not keeping his commandments going to these stores. But these stores are not owned by us. These stores are not owned by our people. These stores are owned by our enemies. And our enemies are using us to get rich. 
Right. It's our time that we wake up out of this sleep. It's our time that we know who we are. It's our time that we come back to our God. The God, the true God of the Bible. Y'all know what? Yeah. Read. It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where of any visceral on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we will leave the seventh year and the exaction of every death. All right, so Shackers, Walgreens, CVS, Wendy, City Bank, these are other nations that are, are opened up for us to come spend our money with. Read it again. And if the people of the land... So these are the people of the land, the Walgreens, the Checkers, the Dollar Tree. These are the people of the land. Read. Bring where are any victuals on the Sabbath day. Open up their doors for us to come by. What should we do? To sell that we will not buy it of them. We will not what? We will not Christianity does not teach that. Christianity teaches that God's laws are done away with. But God's laws is going to be the only thing that get us out of this captivity. That's, That's right. what our people need to understand. We need to repent of all the wicked deeds that we do. Give me a... Uh, actually, because a lot of our people don't understand what repentance is, right? They don't understand what repentance is. They say, oh, I can uh, just ask Jesus for forgiveness on my dying bed, on my uh, dead bed. I can ask Jesus for forgiveness uh, if I'm uh, out after the club. I can just ask for forgiveness and go to church, and it's all good. But when you repent of things, that means you you turn away from it. You don't do it anymore. Read. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Because right now, a lot of our people are in the midst of sin. Coming into this CVS, you're going to buy something, you're in the midst of sin. Going to that checkers, you're going to buy something, you're in the midst of sin. Going to that Walgreens, to buy something, you're in the midst of sin. Going to this, this grocery store back here to buy something, you're in the midst of sin. Read. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, repent ye so the most high God says repent we have to repent of all these wicked things that we're doing yes, buying on the Sabbath is wicked in the eyes of the God of our God yeah. read and be converted and be converted how do we convert we change we change from doing the things we're doing if we want to buy some uh, checkers we don't buy it on the Sabbath which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown if we want if we need something from CB, uh, CBS we don't buy it on the Sabbath, which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. We repent of these things. We don't buy on the Lord's Sabbath. Read. Right. That your sins may be blotted out. If you don't repent of these things, your sins will not be blotted out. When Christ comes, when he returns, he's going to put a lot of our people to death. He's going to put a lot of our people to death because we will not repent of our sins. We will not turn away from the things that we've been taught in this land. Read. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That time of refreshing is when he's going to cleanse the earth with nuclear fire. He's going to cleanse this place. And all you that's buying on the Sabbath, going into the CBS to buy, he's going to kill you. Right. All you that's buying that checkers, he's going to kill you. Unless you repent of these things and stop doing it. The Most High God, he's a jealous God, right? So we have our, give, give me Colossians 2 and 8. Because a lot of our people are ready to celebrate Mother's Day, right? Ready to worship their mothers. A lot of our people are buying stuff to this day to give to their mothers. Not knowing that that is idolatry. That's not in the Bible. It's something that was made up by man. But a lot of us follow man. We don't follow God. That's right. Because we, we have not read the Bible ourselves. Instead, we let man teach us the Bible. Read what you got. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the 
tradition of men after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. So all y'all in these cars, right? They got y'all windows down, they can hear me? Y'all are in the midst of sin if you're celebrating Mother's Day. Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. So Paul said, beware, lest any man spoil you. Spoil is not a good thing. You don't drink spoiled milk, do you? Back in the day when you were spoiled, that means you was robbed. Bring it out. Everything was taken from you. Spoiled. That was good. Read. Through philosophy and vain deceit. So through man's philosophy and their lies, they tell you to worship your mother on that on, on the day, on tomorrow's day. They tell you to worship her like she's a god. Those are man's philosophies and their lies, because it's not in the Bible. The bill's in the Bible. We be doing it, but it's the essence. Come here. Let me ask you a question. Oh, come over here. Come over here and chop it up with me. I want to ask you a question. You know. You know. Who's this? Are you celebrating Mother's Day tomorrow? Um, I celebrate every day. Every day? Every day in the blessing, okay. breath, and body. But the mothers, yeah, we have five. Is that in the Bible? Um, I don't remember. Five. Right. Mother's Day? Yes, yeah, Mother's Day in the Bible. Where is it? It's not in the Bible, sir. No, I didn't. Right, see. That's why I said I celebrate every day. Breath of body. I try to find others of that too. Hey, what's your name? You're ready, oh honey, Latina. You're ready, oh honey, Latina? Yes, you look familiar. What is your name? Maccabees. Okay, nice to meet you. You too. Read this again. I want you to hear this. I want okay. you to hear it. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men. So, Mother's Day is a tradition of men. So, right now. Tradition of men, because it was made up by men. It was made up by men. So Where's it's a the tradition of men. Of this is Colossians. Wait, call it a read. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware. So it's saying beware. So if you was crossing the street and the car was coming, I'd be like, I said beware, hey, hey. The quanta. Paul is saying beware. Read. Let any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Tradition of men. So men are giving us their philosophies and their vain and their vain to say vain is another word for lies. So they're lying to us about things that they're teaching us. Just like when they say Jesus Christ was born on December 25th. Do you believe that? Right. That's another that's another that's another vain deceit right there. Because he wasn't born in the middle of uh, 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 winter, right? Exactly, exactly. So these are things that man's tradition have been teaching us, and they're all lies. Read. After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of this world. Because we follow all, all the traditions of this world, right? We follow birthdays. We celebrate birthdays too, right? Did you know that that's not in the Bible either? Celebrating birthdays? That's the same thing as celebrate Mother's Day. That's another form of idolatry. Right. Read. And not after Christ. You see? It's not after Christ. Mother's Day is not after Christ. Birthdays is not after Christ. Celebrating December 25th is not after Christ. All these things that this world has taught us is not after Christ. Read from the top again. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world. All these things that they teach us here in this world is after the man and after uh, their traditions. Because remember, sis, they brought us over here in, 16, in uh, 1619 as slaves, right? So we didn't know anything. So everything that we celebrate to this day was taught to us by men. That's why the Bible says not to follow the traditions of men. That's, that's what we out here doing, sis. We're out here to try to wake our people up. Mr. Uh, Shakari, did you get our flyer? All right. Oh, yeah? The so so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who they are according to the Bible. That's right. They are God's greatest people. The greatest people ever walked the earth. And we have to repent of all the things that we've learned here when we were brought over here as slaves. We have to come back to God's law, statutes, commandments. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Because a lot of our people don't understand who they are. First, they have to know who they are. Right? It's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separated, that said the Lord, and touch not the unclean things, and I will receive.
with you. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. So the Most High God told us to come from among them and be ye separate. That means we stop celebrating Mother's Day. That means we stop celebrating birthdays. That means we stop celebrating Christmas. He said, come from among them and be ye separate. That's how you repent when you stop doing the traditions of this world. That's how you repent when you come back to God's laws, statutes, commandments. Read it again. Wherefore, come forth from among them and be ye separate. So we're going to come from among their ways and we're going to be ye separate. The way we do that is stop following their traditions. Stop keeping their customs. The Most High God has customs that we're supposed to keep. He has laws that we're supposed to keep. That's right. But yet we want to follow man's traditions. Read. Say the Lord and touch not the unclean things. Everything that this world does is unclean. Right. From the food to the dress codes. Men can wear skirts and dresses. Women can wear pants. That's unclean. Those are unclean things. So the Most High God says we must come from among them in order for Him. Read. And I will receive you. And He will receive us. When we come back to keep His law, statutes, and commandments, that's when we will be received. How do we do that? We come from among them if you want us to have two. We come from among them and stop celebrating Mother's Day. A lot of us don't spend a lot of money today to celebrate our mother. But we're supposed to just honor our parents every day. That's right. Every day. Not one single day, but every day. Read. Really. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Read it again. And be not conformed to this world. So we have to not be conformed to this world. That's the same thing as uh, coming from among them. Being conformed is just going to church on Sundays. And that's what that's another tradition of man. Read. But be be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We have to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We have to change the way we think. Hey, sis, you got, you got two minutes for Christ? No, thank you. You got two minutes for Christ. And our people say we love God. But we don't have two minutes to hear the word of God. We got to go, 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 read. That he may prove what is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Read it again. And be not conformed. Be not conformed to this world. Do not follow the traditions of this world. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.